Stars and Stripes RC here. Uh, I had this plane, well, it's been a, over a year ago, and I sold it to my buddy Joe Ray, and I got to missing this 1700 millimeter Corsair, and FMS was pretty good to me, so I couldn't pass it up. Um, this is a version three. Um, a couple of things that, as far as I know, what's included in the version three or what, what the changes were was, uh, of course they, they have the reflex stabilization system in it, which I'll be taking out. I don't use that stuff. Um, <clears throat> it says it has an up upgraded 5060 brushless motor with a high performance hobby wing 80 amp ESC in it. I don't recall what was in the previous ones, but uh, they're, they're saying that's an upgrade. And uh, before you would have to, <clears throat> you would have to uh, email FMS with the receipt of purchase in order to get the upgraded 18 by 11 four bladed propeller, but on the box, it does say upgraded 18 by 11 four bladed scale prop, which should be included in here. Uh, upgraded CNC metal electric shock absorbing retracts. Well, of course, it's always had the removable stabilizer, vertical stabilizer. Um, I never take that stuff off to uh, transport this. Uh, it has uh, improved hinge design. Uh, FMS has always been extremely detailed on their stuff, uh, on, on the Warbirds especially, um, which is, is really nice. Um, they stand out above the rest in my opinion. Uh, it does have bearing equipped durable wheels. Uh, it is a screw, to, screw together assembly with plug connectors. Uh, and pre-installed ball ink push rods. Um, so I wanted to do a unboxing on this. I had one on, on my old one I got a year ago, but uh, I always like to, to do an unboxing on, on a new plane. And off the top, what was in the top was the manual, uh, the wing, uh, I call them harnesses, it's, you, it's what you screw the wings down in, the bolts, the screws, uh, all that stuff, and the upgraded prop blades. Um, got your wing spars. And by the way, I do have my wing bags pre-made for this. I anticipated this, so I went on ahead and made me a set. Uh, got one wing panel here. And you can see the, uh, the, the, the decals are peel and stick, which is okay. Um, I plan to put several coats of water-based men wax on this plane before I assemble it anyway. Uh, but you can see the detail that they, they go to great lengths to give you all the panel lines. Uh, it just looks great. On the bottom you can see, uh, of course obviously the servos are all pre-installed. They are um, 17 gram Metal gear, metal, metal gear servos. You can see here, like I said, the, the ball links are, that, that's pre-installed. Um, on the one I got a year ago, um, out of the box, the elevator servos didn't work. So I ended up having to replace those. I'm hoping that I don't have the luck I did with the Tiger Cat as well, uh, with the uh, with the nose gear on that one. I'm hoping that everything will work. 
across your fingers. But I will do a, uh, another video after I get it all together and powered up. Uh, you got your other wing hat here. The, the foam is really nice on their planes. It's uh, really dense and strong. I like the uh, scheme that they got on this thing, the uh, Jacksonville. It's a, it's a Navy scheme. My dad was a Vietnam Navy veteran, God rest his soul. He would have loved to see this. Um, you got your bombs, which I don't normally put these on mine, but if I do, I always, I always paint them and make them look scale. I mean, they, they could do that for you, but they don't. Um, so we'll see. I don't know if I'll do that or not. Your drop tank. I always put that on. Well, actually, there's two drop tanks on the Corsair. And I do usually put those on when I fly mine. And I'll be getting a flight video on this as well. Uh, just as soon as the weather cooperates. It's uh, <laughs> been cold and 60 mile an hour winds here in Albuquerque today. So obviously a no fly. Uh, your elevator. Again, nice detail on the, on the surfaces. These are the two servos on my previous one that I had that, that I had to replace, uh, which wasn't a huge pain, but, um, you know, you get stuff and sometimes stuff doesn't work. Uh, what matters is uh, customer service, if they take care of you or not, and FMS is really good about taking care of you. At least that was, that's been my experience. Got your rudder. Again, <clears throat> this snaps on, and I'll show you on the fuselage when I take it out, but it, it just snaps on, um, which is cool. I have FMS's full line of 1700 millimeter planes right now. Uh, I would love to see them come out with a Stuka this size. I do have their old 1400 millimeter Stuka. Flies great. This is your uh, prop hub here. And uh, to, to come out with a Stuka this size FMS, you'd sell a ton of them, I think. Alright. Fuselage here. Let me... Clear the foam out. Everything well packaged. Uh, there was a ding or two in the box when I got it, but uh, the way they package things, it'd have to be thrown around pretty good for it to damage, you know, the inside portion of the product. Um, again, I love the navy scheme. Um, the orange. This is going to look really good when I when I get the men wax on it. It's going to pop. Um, uh, on the rudder again. Here's where that pops in at these points here and here. The rest of the elevator is held on by uh, screws. <clears throat> Excuse me. And. Uh, the uh, battery compartment, I like. It's the same as the old one I had where you just have a button and it pops off. And again, uh, they have the reflex module in here, which I'll be taking out. Um, I'm glad to see that they did the EC5 connectors on this. That's what I use. Uh, but plenty of room in there for for your battery. Uh, I will probably use a six cell 5200 uh, in this. 
There's uh, a lot of people saying you should go to 8S, um, which I'm considering, I'm not sure yet. You have to take off the front, you know, and you're, the, the only upgrade from what I'm understanding is you, you need to upgrade the speed controller on this. Comes with that 80 amp. To run 8S, uh, I'm looking at getting the, uh, the uh, Predator 120 amp ESC to put in it and then giving a shot on 8S. But uh, out of the box stock, it flies fine. It flies scale. That's how Warbirds should fly. They shouldn't, in my opinion, uh, RC Warbirds, um, you know, I don't need mine to do 120 miles an hour. Some people like that. Pops right back on. Really cool detail in the cockpit, the pilot. Um, they just do a really good job uh, on their stuff. It does have retractable tail wheel underneath. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm probably be working on this, getting this together tonight. I'll do another video after I get it done and on the table and in the future. Uh, a flight video for you guys uh, that are subscribers to Stars and Stripes RC. I appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed, check it out. If you like, subscribe and uh, click the notification link and, and uh, you'll get a notification whenever I post new videos. But at any rate, we appreciate you watching. Thanks. Stars and Straps signing off.